Clark, the production manager of the Young Broadcasters of Tomorrow. I'm sitting here with... My name is Brennan Buffa, and I am the editor-in-chief of the Western Herald. And this week's RSO Spotlight is the Student Media Group. Well, to start things off, Brennan, will you tell us about the Herald? Yeah, the Western Herald is the student-run on-campus newspaper at Western Michigan University. We have been around since 1916. We are just getting over our 100th year anniversary. Um, we cover all things on campus from news, sports, arts, entertainment, as well as having an opinion section. We take any student that's on campus that really is uh, interested in that, that creative writing or journalistic nature of writing. Um, it, we are a learning environment, so we teach a lot of students about you know, the ways to write journalistically and how to compose a lead and how to compose a journalistic story. And uh, we are a weekly print edition. You can find us on Mondays around campus or find us online at westernherald.com. Sweet. And my name is Charles. I'm the production manager for the Young Broadcasters of Tomorrow, or YBOT. You're watching the YBOT channel right now. Uh, we believe in inspiring and empowering students to practice the skills that they need to go into the professional broadcasting world uh, and do so in a safe, welcoming environment so you can build those skills, establish a portfolio, and go forward living the career that you want to do. We do this by focusing on digital media production, digital video, and right now I'm producing a lot of featurettes, newscasts, and we're starting a few web series and we always have room to add to our pool of creators. So if you're interested in getting more info about YBOT, follow us at, on Twitter at YBOT Connects, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, before we end, I want to head on over to Gianna, the general manager of the wider station. She's going to give you a quick tour of their studios. Hi everyone, my name is Gianna Cappadona and I'm the general manager of 89.1 WIDR-FM. And right now we're going to go ahead and take you through our studios. <laughs> Follow me. So over here we have our CD music library where we house over 40,000 CDs of all types of genres. We actually have one of the biggest world music sections in Southwest Michigan. And yeah, so there's all this good stuff. This is one of the places our DJs get their music from. And over here is our on-air studio. This is the throne to the DJs and our brand new studio board. So whenever a DJ comes in here to do their show, this is where they're sitting. We just got this board this year, so we're very thankful to have that. Um, and then back here, we've got our vinyl library. So not only do we have tons of CDs, but we've got vinyl too for some of the people who like a more vintage feel. And then right this way, We've got two production studios for our production team and we do all of our commercials, PSAs and stuff in-house. So this is one of our production studios and then we've got another one right over here. And then last but not least, over here is a big empty room that doesn't look like a whole bunch. But we use this room for when we have live studio sessions. So every Monday when we have our basement show, we'll have a band come in here, set up and perform and we broadcast it live on air. So that's just about everything. Thanks for coming. <laughs> if you want more information about WIDER, you can head to www.widrfm.org or you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at WIDERFM.